Good morning, everyone. It is day 29 of our 40 days of decrease. Thank you so much for being here with me. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we can come before you and increase in you. Lord, we thank you that you have been ever present with us during this journey. And we just ask that you continue to strengthen us as we lean into our relationship with you and less of the world. Lord, we thank you for just being with us. I thank you for being with me and for giving me the strength to come before the people each and every day. I ask that you remove anything from me that's not like you and allow me to be and continue to be your willing vessel. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we have been, um, as we approach resurrection, we've been talking about um, Jesus and his journey because he knew what was coming. And so um, today we talk a little bit about uh, Jesus and his interaction with uh, Pontius Pilate. When he um, was brought before Pilate, um, Pilate was asking him uh, questions, right? He asked him, where do you come from? Jesus didn't answer him. And Pilate said, don't you know that I have the power to either free you or to crucify you? And Jesus answered and said, you would have no power over me if it, not, if it were not given to you from above. See, Jesus knew that Pilate wasn't even in control. And so he wasn't intimidated by what Pilate was saying to him. I'm sure that Pilate was probably used to people coming before him and, and asking them questions and people quivering in fear. And, you know, any other person he would have said, don't you know who I am? You refuse to talk to me. But he didn't know who he was talking to. And so Jesus wasn't intimidated by Pilate. He didn't fear what Pilate was laying at his feet. Pilate said, don't you know that I can free you or crucify you? But Jesus didn't fear death. He didn't fear what was coming. Why? Because he had power and he had authority. He knew what he had to do and he knew that Pilate was not in control. So while Pilate could intimidate others, he could not intimidate Jesus. And so today, our fast is intimidation. Let us not be intimidated by anything. What, what, what do you fear? Being misunderstood, misrepresented. Fast those things. Don't let them take control of your mind. So many times we allow fear to intimidate us, fear of the unknown, really fear of the, the voices in our head that have been speaking to us for years. Let that go. Cast that aside. Are you intimidated by an illness that you once had and you, you fear that it'll come back or you have a reminder because you have a scar or achiness? Don't be intimidated by that. But today... And our book has this simple prayer. Jesus, you have already embraced everything that I fear. I renounce fear's hold on me. By God's grace, I share your victory. Because we have relationship with Jesus, we have victory. So today, let's fast intimidation and lean into the Lord a little bit more. Turn all those things over to him, the things that intimidate us, fear, walking into fear is such a stranglehold, right? So many different things. We fear um, being misunderstood. We fear illnesses. We fear walking into a room and not knowing anybody. We fear getting up in front of people and speaking. We fear um, going to a new job. We fear moving. All these things that the enemy uses to intimidate us and keep us in bondage and today we say no more so we fast intimidation and so when those things come before you or those thoughts come into your head say no more no more will i be intimidated by these things but instead say lord walk with me be with me strengthen me in jesus name lord we thank you 
for the press in this season. We thank you that you have been with us and you continue to be with us. Lord, continue to help us on this day as we fast intimidation. God, show us those things, God, that we fear, God, that we must stand and say no longer, no more. Help us on this day, God. We thank you. We praise you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We only have a few days left, but I believe that God is so pleased with our journey and he's being glorified just by the transformation that is taking place in each of our lives. So I thank you for being here with me. As you continue to transform on this journey, allow God, allow God to do his work so that we can all be free and become whole for real. Have a great day. I will see you all in the morning.